The 2019 Ford EcoSport SE. Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford Salina, Kansas. In this video, we're going to cover all the standard as well as optional equipment that is available on the SE trim of the 2019 Ford EcoSport. I do have one already on the S trim, so if you haven't had a chance, you can take a look at that. I'm going to kind of link it up above if you're watching this on YouTube, as well as link down the description too. So definitely uh, check, check that video out. Uh, that's going to cover all the, uh, the standard equipment on the uh, S trim, which is the base trim or the entry level trim for the EcoSport. This SE, pretty well equipped. We're going to cover all the standard equipment as well as uh, those. There's a package that's available as well as the standalone options. So, very thorough video. I'll have timestamps down below as we go around the vehicle, as well as the prices on the different packages will be listed there as well. So, let's go ahead and get started and cover all the equipment that's standard first on the EcoSport SE. Now, first, I want to talk about some of the safety features. And these are all the same safety features that you would see on the S trim. So, if you've watched that video already, you can go ahead and move to the next timestamp where we talk about the, the engines as well as the front of the vehicle. But first, I want to, for those that are, uh, haven't watched that one and I just want to watch this, I'm going to go ahead and include those safety features within this video right here. Uh, first thing you want to think about is this is very well protected around the vehicle. Airbags all the way around to really protect you from those front and side collisions for not only those in the front seat. But the back seat. So you're going to have a dual stage front airbag for the driver and front passenger. It deploys a different size airbag, depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle. Also, you're going to get knee airbags as well to protect them from those front collisions, uh, deploying those airbags uh, there under the dash as well as under the steering wheel for the driver up there. Also, you're going to get side impact airbags, not only in these front seats, but also for the back seats. This is one of the only vehicles that Ford has that has side impact airbags coming out of the rear seat as well. So it's going to protect the, those in the front as well as the back seat from that side collision if that happens to uh, happen to you. Also, you're going to have the safety canopy airbag with the rollover sensor. So it's going to deploy the airbag from the roof uh, to protect that from that glass breaking and rolling over uh, of the vehicle. And it's going to have advanced track with roll stability control. So hope you, that doesn't happen for you. It really tries to control that. And advanced track is really a fancy term for uh, just telling you that it helps you stay on your intended path. So if it's on a slick driving day, uh, the uh, wet roads, maybe snow. Also, if you're maybe going to cur uh, curve a little bit too fast and don't realize it's, uh, it's turning more drastic than you thought. Uh, the advanced track will help you keep you on your intended path. It uses a series of brakes in milliseconds on the different wheels to help you stay on that intended path and keeping the, roll, the vehicle on those four wheels. So great system and how that works. This will have the SOS post crash alert system that's going to honk the horns and flash the lights. So if you happen to be off the road in an accident, people will know that you're off the road and then come to your safety. Also, you're going to have 911 assist as part of the sync system that uh, if you have your Bluetooth phone enabled there, you're going to be able to call 911 directly instead of having to rely on a third party like OnStar or something like that if you happen to have an accident. So uh, some great safety features uh, throughout the vehicle. Now for kids as well, you're going to have the rear locks back here so you can manually lock out these back doors so the kids can't open those doors while you're driving down the road. Also, you're going to have the latch system that lower anchors and tethers for children. It's going to securely uh, take those seats those car seats, booster seats, and, and secure them towards the back of those seats. Uh, so you're going to have that on those two outbound seats uh, here in the back seat. So again, some great safety features. Uh, probably forgot a couple. If I did, we'll go ahead and, and cover some of the others as we go around the vehicle. So a uh, very safe vehicle. You're going to uh, feel very comfortable in this and know that you're going to be protected when you're driving. Now, as we first talk about this, so you're going to come standard in your front wheel drive with your 1.0 liter EcoBoost engine. Now, now, now that engine is going to deliver 123 horsepower, 125 pound feet of torque. Uh, and for fuel economy, uh, for the front wheel drive with the 1.0, you're going to look at about 27 miles per gallon in the city and about 29 miles per gallon on the highway. You can also go on the optional four wheel drive, which is going to give you uh, the standard engine on that one is going to be the 2.0 liter four cylinder natural aspirated engine that's going to deliver 166 horsepower and about 149 pound feet of torque. And for fuel economy on that one, you're going to be looking around 23 miles per gallon in the city, but the same 29 miles per gallon on the highway. So a couple different engines and drivetrains to be able to go with on all of your uh, SE trimmed vehicles here. Now both of those engines will come with auto start stop technology. And what that means is when you pull up the stoplight stop sign and you press the brake, it's going to shut the vehicle off. 
Uh, and if you uh, just release in the brake, it's gonna go ahead and turn it on uh, automatically before you can transition over to the gas pedal. Now, if that's something you don't like, or if there's a lot of negativity about that, uh, they don't like that being activated, uh, one of the things you can do is hit that little A button right there below your temperature control, and it's gonna deactivate it for that trip. So real nice and easy to do. A lot of times people won't notice it until they pull up to the first stop line and stop sign and it shuts off on them. Just move over, just click over and uh, press that button real quick deactivates it. Hopefully in the future we're going to see Ford give us some, some way to disable that permanently, uh, but for right now all you have to do is hit that button right there. Also you're going to get the select shift automatic transmission. Six speed automatic transmission allows you if you want to to put it in that the S mode at the back, use the shifter on the plus and minus on the side of the shifter knob there and you can shift it up and down like a manual transmission. So a great way too if you're in the hills and you need that uh, downshifting, uh, you'll be able to do that uh, for that as well or going down a hill. Uh, so great technology there. Here on the front to help with fuel economy, you're going to get the active grill shutters. They are standard equipment on the S as well, and they're just going to work like shutters on your window. So they're going to close them when you're on the highway, allow for more airflow around. That's why no matter what engine you have, it's going to get about 29 miles per gallon on the highway. But in town, it's going to open those up. That EcoBoost engine really does need those uh, grill shutters opened up. More airflow into the vehicle get, keeps that engine performing uh, nicely uh, and giving you that 27 miles per gallon in the city for that EcoBoost. So you're going to have that. Now let's talk about the design here on the front. A little bit different than the S. You can see that instead of the uh, black bars, you're going to have these silver painted bars as well as the silver painted surround. So a little bit different look to the grill on the front. That's how you can, you know, if you see one on the highway on, down, going down the road, you know, oh, well, this is an SE because it has an upgraded grill. Also, your headlamps are a little different. They are a quad beam like your S trim, but these are a, a projector beam instead of a reflector beam like the S trim. You're also going to have the signature lighting beside that. And when you have it on your daytime running lights, uh, those LED signature lighting is what's going to light up for you uh, so that you, you can see, uh, the people can see you real easily at, uh, during the daytime as well. And then you're going to have your fog lights down here too uh, with the body colored bezel around that instead of that um, molded in black like the S trim I would have. So a real unique look to this one. You're still going to have molded in black down here as well as the sides and in the middle of the grill, but a great look here to the front of the vehicle. A couple other things to talk about on the windshield. Laminated glass is standard equipment even on your S trim to keep it a little bit quieter, especially on the highway. But the SE is also going to get the windshield wiper de-icers. And uh, the great feature about that is what I like about it is in the wintertime, it gets cold, it starts to rain, maybe even snow, and that windshield will defrost the windshield, uh, but still those wipers get wet from, uh, you know, kind of go ahead and then wiping that, you know, ice or slush off your windshield. They get wet, you get on the highway, they freeze up on you. Windshield wiper de icers will help with that so they're actually going to be functional for you on the road or even in town. Now we're gonna move around to the side. We're gonna see several different touches of upgrades from the S to the SE, and I'll point those out. First one is the wheel here. 16 inch uh, alloy wheel. It is a shadow silver painted uh, wheel. So a little bit different design as well as different color than your S trim. Uh, S is a really nice wheel, but this is a great upgrade given a, a, a benefit to some of the accents around the vehicle here. Also body colored mirror caps instead of the molded in here on the skull cap. Turn signal indicator as well on the outside as an upgrade when you go to the SE. Still going to have the same power mirror uh, for you and manual fold in uh, if you need it to as well. Uh, so that's going to be some of the mirror features there. Body color door handles is an upgrade when you go to the SE. Uh, you have the molded in black on the S, so that's a great upgrade as well. And then it does have your keyless entry, uh, intelligent access, uh, being able to get in and out of the vehicle without having to get the keys out of your pocket. So you just walk up, put your hands in a door handle, it's going to automatically unlock the vehicle for you, allow you to get in and out. You can set it in the settings to unlock just the driver's door or all four of the doors. It's really up to your preference. Uh, if you're a more uh, single most of the time and you don't need that, uh, the, all the doors opened up just for security purposes, you can have it set up for just the driver's door. Also, when you get out of the vehicle, you just press the ridges on the front doors and it's going to lock the vehicle up for you as well. And then when you get inside, you don't have to get the keys out because it does have push button start. Let me talk about the remote real quick and how that works. Uh, you do have a lock, unlock, and a panic there. Uh, real nice and easy to use. You just have to have that in your pocket, purse, on, your, on, on you uh, to be able to open the, the unlock the doors. And then if you see on the back side, nice forward emblem. And if for some reason, if the vehicle is maybe the battery's dead or the, there's a battery is dead on these remotes, but they do last a long time, so it probably won't happen for you. Uh, you can just open the, the push the buttons on the end there and then slide that key out so that way you can open the door, jump the vehicle if you need to, or uh, if you just need that to be able to uh, get a new battery for your remote, you can do, use that to get in and out of it that way as well. Uh, also, the belt line molding is going to be black just like with your S trim. 
You do get an upgrade on these roof rack side rails. So you have these black roof rack side rails, not the crossbars, but the side rails. We'll talk about optional equipment just in a little bit. Uh, so you're gonna have that as an upgrade. Uh, lower rocker molding is gonna be that molded in black as well. And that really just protects the side of it. I mentioned that on the S video that, uh, you know, a lot of times SUVs sit a little bit taller. Uh, and so that way, sometimes that the rocks and such get kicked up, especially here in Kansas with some of the salt and stuff on the roads during the winter time. And that'll protect it. So that way you don't chip any of the paint down there, having it, you know, flake off or anything like that over time. So this, it's gonna really help it protect it uh, more the longevity of the vehicle here. Also, easy fuel capless uh, filler door, standard equipment on all your Echo Sports, but it is a great benefit. You don't have a cap to worry about losing or leaving behind. You just put the nozzle in and shut the door when you're done. Uh, there are instructions here on the side because if you do run out of uh, fuel and you need to use a tank, you want to make sure you use the nozzle because otherwise they, the ones from the gas can gas cans will not fit in there. It's perfect. It's set perfectly for the fuel pump, so that way people can't uh, uh, worry about any kind of fuel being taken or anything if you have that issue in your neighborhood. Also, uh, another upgrade here is going to be the privacy glass in these back windows, as well as the back glass. Uh, that's a great upgrade. You get a little bit cooler there for those in the rear seat. Uh, it just looks nicer as well. That's why we usually, if we have an S trim, we'll put uh, the window tent on them because it just looks so much nicer with the privacy glass on those back windows. Now moving to the back up here, you're going to see a body colored kind of an integrated rear spoiler up here with the uh, center high mounted stop light up here so people know you want to stop. It does have rear defrost uh, with the rear wiper back here so you can keep that back glass free of any kind of snow and ice and that kind of thing. Uh, also it does have your rear view camera back here so as you're backing up you're going to be able to see behind you. Standard equipment on your S but carry it over to the SE. Now SE does get reverse sensing back here which is not even available on your uh, S trim so as you're backing up you're also going to get alerted with those beeps if you get closer and closer to different items. Molded in black here on the rear bumper with the reflectors on both corners there and then these tail lights are the, the those halogen as well uh, back here uh, with the silver accent here inside those on both sides because over here is where you're going to see the spot to open the door. So there'll be an opening here on the right side. So this does have a swing open gate as long as it's unlocked. So I'm going to double check that it's unlocked. Just press the button in here. There's no uh, lever pulling. You just press the button. It's going to release it and then you can go ahead and pull it back uh, and opens up here. So real nice uh, look in here. It does have now uh, for 2019 has this cover up here to kind of protect that. It does kind of pop up and hold into place up there if you need a little bit more room. Carpet mats are going to be standard equipment for the footwells and the, the front seats. It looks like in the back seat as well for the SE trim, so that is an upgrade as well. So uh, you're going to have those, put those off to the side. Now in here, you're going to see a real kind of a management system in a sense. Not that there is a cargo management we're going to talk about as accessories, but there is a little shelf in here that helps you do some organizing. Now these seats are a 60-40 split bench sheet. You can lay those seats down. You do have to pull the cushions up. I'll show you that when we get to the inside of how that works. But when you lay these down, uh, if you want to slide something in, you have this little lip that, that drops down as well as the seats are going to be a little bit higher than the back of the cargo. So that's what the shelf is for. So you can take this out, put it in the top uh, position up here, and then go ahead and position it back there. And you can see now you have a flat load level in there and it'll slide up and across onto those seats is the image you're seeing right now with that seat laid down and what that looks like being able to slide any items that you might have clear across there. You can also just uh, put it in the second position down here. It gives you a little bit of uh, hidden storage underneath that. And, but does give you a flat low, low level as well. So if you want that, you don't want that drop down there, you tend to uh, set things on there and just slide them in there. Uh, this might be the position you might want to leave that in. And then you get some hidden storage under there. So if you have small items in there, you can put them under there. People don't even know you have them under there, which is a convenience for you. Or you can just kind of set it on the bottom one so that way you have that flexibility if you need it. Uh, or you can even take it out. So I'm going to actually take it out right now and kind of show you the inside of here because there are some tie downs, four of them back there, kind of like you might have in a truck or something. So if you have something you need to, you know, hold it in position, you can do that. Also, you do have over here underneath that is going to be the uh, tire and sealant kit. There is no spare tire on the Echo Sport, so it's con conserving some of that room. Uh, so you have the uh, tire and inflator kit as well as there's where your funnel is going to be uh, for your easy fuel capless if you run out of fuel and need to use a tank. So that's going to be located right back here as well for you. So you're going to have that right there. So real nice functionality and uh, being able to use uh, some of this space back here here uh, to the best of its ability. So uh, real nice convenient features uh, back here in the back cargo area. 
Now moving to the interior, when you go from the S to the SE, you get a, not only a different design in the seat, uh, but you also get another color interior for you, because on the S you only get that medium stone interior, which I'm going to give you some clips off of Ford's website what that looks like, because uh, the door inserts, lower part of the dash, and the seats will be that tan or medium stone interior. Or now you can go with the ebony interior, so now it's going to be entirely uh, black interior, including your door. You are going to get some trims now on the doors, it's that anil gray is what they call that, around the vents as well, so real nice uh, touch there, uh, kind of a high gloss finish. And then your seats are going to be ebony as well, so uh, real nice design on these seats as well. They're still going to be cloth seats like you would see on the SE, but a great design and a little bit different material as well. And then now you get a power adjustable seat for the driver over here, six way, including uh, it goes forward back up and down uh, power adjustment as well as power recline and you still get the manual lumbar as well. The passenger seat will be the same as your S so you will have the lever on the front up here on the console side so where you can slide that seat forward and back. You have a lever to be able to slide to raise the seat up and down and you have a lever for your backrest so manual recline as well. Also heated seat for the driver and front passenger as well. Standard equipment on the SE. It's a nice upgrade there. Back seat, seats three back there. You do have a armrest that comes out in the middle, backrest back there. Also, you can, let me show you how that, that seat adjusts. You pull that loop um, behind that seat if you want to uh, go ahead and raise that cushion up. And then you can lay the backrest down uh, to fold that seat down. So you just press that lever on the top of that seat and it's going to lower it down to what we saw earlier uh, from the back. Now you're seeing that from the side angle and how that's going to look in the vehicle. So that's how you get that flat load level. You can lay that seat down, but it's going to be angled. So if you just need to slide something in for storage, uh, you can just go ahead and lay the seat down if you want to. But that's how you get that flat load level in there. There are also going to be vents underneath these seats back here for AC and heat and climate control basically for your rear seat back there. Here on the door, power windows, locks, mirror switches, including auto one-touch for the driver's window over here. Leather wrap steering wheel as well as your shifter knob. So real nice, you have your hands on the steering wheel for, for a lot of the driving experience here. So having that soft leather wrap steering wheel is a, a great upgrade for the SE. Also, you're going to have a manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel. So just pull that lever under there and it'll go up and down, forward and back. So you can get it just right for any size driver. On the steering wheel on the left side, underneath at the bottom down there, you're going to see your cruise control. So you have the cruise control standard equipment on your S and SE. Uh, the D-pad there above that is going to control your productivity screen. It's a 4.2 inch LCD screen in between your speedometer attack. That's where you're going to change your settings. Also, your you know any different display settings or uh, advanced settings are going to be right positioned. Uh, you're going to use that for that. The D-pad on the right side is going to control audio controls as well as your Bluetooth controls, make and receive phone calls without having to take your hands off the steering wheel, which is a great convenience as well. Now for the climate control, electronic auto climate control. So that is an upgrade. Still a single zone like the S, but now you have the uh, auto climate, uh, which comes in real handy, being able to kind of almost to set it like a like you would in your house and keeping that temperature at that at that same temperature uh, in the cabin area. Also, you're going to have uh, go ahead and talk about the screen first. We talk about the USB ports. This is going to a standard equipment on this is going to be the Sync 3 with the six and a half inch LCD screen. So it's a touch screen here where you can control your audio. Uh, you can control your phone uh, through those settings as well. Uh, real nice touch screen for you. Six and a half inch, uh, pretty good size on this vehicle, as close as you're going to be uh, to the front of the vehicle there. So real nice look. And that's where you're going to see your backup camera coming to view as well on the screen right here. It is going to come with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, uh, which allows you to be able to use the USB ports to plug your phone in. And it's going to go ahead and put it in those modes uh, for your screen. So you're going to have that capabilities. Two USB ports right here in the Media Hub with a PowerPoint as well. Uh, so real nice and convenient for you uh, to be able to plug those uh, different devices in right there. Also up here on the mirror, you do have a day-night mirror, so it's a manual adjustment. So if someone's coming behind you with those bright lights, you can just flip it up, uh, and uh, that way it won't affect you as much. And then this overhead console, you're going to see is a sunglass bin up here. Real nice, going to be able to hide those sunglasses away there. And then you're also going to see the controls for your lights, as well as the standard power moonroof. Standard equipment on all of your SE and above uh, Echo Sports is going to be your power moonroof. So real nice, has a manual sunshade here that you can open and shut and the power glass that opens up with these switches right here. So real uh, convenient for you. Also in here, you're going to see the uh, console. It's kind of an, uh, creates a little armrest. Not a lot of storage space in here, but there is a little bin that you can pull out that's a little bit sh more shallow. You can put some things in there, even a little spot for a pen in there. And then a deeper compartment in there. It might be a little dark to see that, but you're going to see be able to put that in there, uh, different uh, items in there as well. And there's some compartments 
uh, all over the place between the little cubbies in here as well as a spot right here in the glove box. And of course, don't forget about the glove box and as well as the doors, which also have some cup holders uh, in those as well. So uh, pretty nice, uh, pretty nicely equipped for the SE trim. And we've only covered the standard equipment so far. So now let's go ahead and talk about a couple packages that you might consider getting on your EcoSport SE. Now let's talk about some optional packages and one of them that's what we order on almost all of our SEs and that's the SE convenience package and it includes a lot of features at a pretty low cost. Uh, that's why we usually order on most of our SE vehicles. And the first thing you're going to uh, get is the Bliss system with cross traffic alert. I think that's a big upgrade for this package. So even on this SE, you're going to get that Bliss. Uh, what's great about that is if there's someone in your blind spot, it's going to put a light in the corner of that mirror and let you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. Also, when you're backing up, if someone's going to cross your path behind you, it's going to put a light in the side of the mirror from the side they're coming from. It's also going to a message on the dash tank if they're coming from the left or the right, and it's series of tones, and it's not safe to back up. Love that system and how that works. I think it's, a, it's something that I know in the future will be standard equipment on all of your vehicles, uh, but for 2019, it is part of this SE convenience package. Also, behind the seat, you're going to get a 110 outlet as an upgrade. So uh, having that little three-prong outlet, you can plug in computers, cell phones, whatever it might be to power different devices for those in the back seat back there. You're also going to get ambient lighting as part of this uh, feature. So ambient lighting lights up the, the cup holders, the footwells, and the door compartments, and you can change the colors on that through your, your Sync 3 screen that we talked about earlier here. And let's talk about that. You do have upgraded from a six-speaker audio sound system to a seven-speaker audio sound system with the eight-inch touchscreen. So earlier I gave you clips from Ford's website on the six-and-a-half-inch screen. And when you go to the SC Convenience, you get upgraded to the eight-inch touchscreen with the voice-activated pinch-to-zoom navigation system so great system there you have all the swipe capabilities all the same capabilities from the series the sync 3 uh, from the standard equipment the android apple uh, or the android auto apple carplay system uh, and all those other uh, flexibilities uh, now you also get sirius xm traffic and travel length and i forgot to mention sirius xm satellite radio is standard equipment on all of your SEs. Uh, with this you also get the tra traffic and travel link which gives you gas prices uh, also travel information like uh, weather and that kind of thing within your map so great uh, uh, upgrade for you uh, for this vehicle so SE convenience package uh, is a must uh, it does also come with the Ford Pass Connect as well where you can stay connected to the vehicle using the Ford Pass app so it's a free app you download put your vehicle in there confirm it with your uh, having your car uh, started within the modem in here and that way you can be able to do all kinds of great features like being able to remote start your vehicle from anywhere you can also unlock and lock your vehicle schedule remote start times uh, so a lot of great features within that you can even see the maintenance of your vehicle how much fuels in it uh, also you know how everything's doing uh, when it's time to get your oil changes through that app and you can even schedule oil changes through that so great features and now also comes with uh, owner rewards as well where you're going to get two free oil changes that Ford's going to pay for through the app so you just schedule it through there uh, you can see rewards points and as you do service at the uh, with their Ford dealerships you're going to get reward points and they're going to give you bonuses and everything so you definitely want to make sure you can connect your vehicle using that and if you want you can also use the Wi-Fi hotspots that comes with it uh, as well it is an upgraded uh, you're gonna pay $20 a month for that feature but you're gonna have 10 Wi-Fi hotspots for the vehicle uh, and so that way people can stay connected to the Wi-Fi hotspot saving you a little bit on data especially if everybody in the vehicle is on their phones during those long trips it could be a lot cheaper to go with the $20 a month than your uh, plans it depends on what plan you have there so those are some great features as part of this SE convenience package as you can see it's a great value. Go ahead and add that to your SE. I think you'll be happy. Next, I want to talk about the interior protection package. Now, this package is also optional equipment for you. Uh, it includes two features. One of them is a cargo mat. So it's an all-weather mat that's going to go back here, protect that floor liner, uh, especially if you put a lot of flowers or different dirt or different things that might get dirty. Uh, it's a lot easier to pull that mat out, clean it, than to be able to have to try to clean out your cargo area. Also, you're going to get all-weather floor liners. They're going to be in the footwells, not only in the front seats, but also the four liners of the back seat as well. So just like with your floor mats, you're gonna still get the floor mats, but you'll also get the all-weather liners as well as part of this package. 
Now we're going to talk about some standalone options. There are two standalone op options that are also uh, available for you. You do have the two packages we already talked about, the convenience and the interior protection package, but there are two other options that are standalone options, which means you can order them on their own. One of them is your engine block heater. So uh, in the past, you can only, uh, last year you could only get that in about a half a dozen states. This year it is available in any state, no matter what state you're in, you can get the engine block heater's optional equipment. And that way you can plug that vehicle in, especially if you're outside in the winter time and it stays out overnight. A lot of people like to plug those in, especially in those cold weather states, uh, to keep that engine so it starts up real easy uh, the next morning. Also, you can get the front tag bracket. Now, it is going to be the front tag bracket will be standard equipment in the states that require front tag, but in Kansas, like us, it's optional equipment. It is a no charge option, but you still do have to order as an optional equipment. So, if you want that personalized tag on the front, or if you require, if you need that, make sure you order that on your vehicle as well. I also wanted to break out the accessories as uh, separate from the optional equipment because accessories are something that is going to be ordered from the, if you order from the factory, they're going to be shipped ahead of time and the dealer will install them. And there are also things you can order from your parts or accessories department as well. So keep that in mind. If you see a vehicle out there that has everything else that you need, except you want some accessories, they can be ordered afterwards. So just keep that in mind. Now, the first one to talk about is actually a package and includes two features, and that is the cargo management package. And as it sounds, it does have a cargo management system in it so uh, be able to manage a different cargo back there it goes in the, the floor there and you can put that in it as well as it comes with a cargo net and that cargo net uh, is just a netting that you can put back across there put all those those items that maybe roll around soccer balls footballs uh, basketballs put those back in there they won't roll around and bug you when you keep turning the vehicle and they roll from one side to the other uh, so that's a great package that you might want to order with your vehicle also you can get splash guards especially if you live you know on those dirt roads or out in the country splash guards would be a great way to protect the side of the vehicle a little bit more because you're going to kick up a lot more rocks and have the a chance of getting them on your doors. The mud flaps will help contain those rocks so they don't get up on the side of your vehicle. So that's something that you can order on your vehicle uh, as well. You can also get the all-weather liners. So we talked about that as part of that interior protection package, but they can be ordered as a standalone option as well. So you can get in the footballs in the front seat as well as the back seat. And you can also get a remote start uh, for the vehicle as well. Now this uh, also Keep in mind, if you get the convenience package, it comes with remote start on your phone. So a lot of people would decide not to get that. But if you do get the remote start, it is something that would be a little key fob that would be added attached to your keychain, And that way you can go ahead and remote start the vehicle when you're close enough to the vehicle. So keep that in mind. Uh, if you don't get the convenience package, it might be something that you might want to add to the vehicle, especially in the wintertime, comes in real handy. Also, you can get keypad as well. I think they put that on the pillar up here. Uh, with keypad is almost like your other remote. So you can use a special code uh, to set it. So that way, if you want to leave the keys inside or maybe on the keys on you, but when you grab something inside, you can use your own special code to unlock the vehicle light and get in and out of it. So sometimes I like to put my key, leave my keys inside the vehicle. If I go for a run or something, you can go ahead and do that, lock it up, use a special keys, uh, keypad to get in or your special code, I should say, to get in and out of the vehicle. So those are your accessories that are available on your SE trim of the EcoSport. Now let's finish this video off by talking about the warranty. Is a three year, 36,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty with a five year, 60,000 mile powertrain warranty and roadside assistance. So some uh, pretty good standard warranties that we see on all the Ford vehicles to help protect the vehicle for at least the first three years and 36,000 miles and the powertrain even further than that. So a real nice warranty. Also, don't forget how you can find this inventory on our website, lawmacarthur.com is the place to go. So you go there, you can see um, walk around videos. You can also see the uh, total spins, see your great internet price. You can even pull up window stickers as well. So all of our vehicles you can see there, all that information is right there on our website. So definitely uh, look for those Echo Sports. We do price all of our Echo Sports invoice minus rebate. So be looking for that. And the rebates are based on our zip code. So depending on where you live, the rebates may change a little bit. So definitely want to give us a call or send us a text message at 785-378-5031 or you can call us toll free 1-800-874-6316. So that way you can uh, double check the, that those rebates are going to apply to uh, your zip code as well. Uh, and if this is something you want to be uh, look, look at, also keep in mind, you may see vehicles on there that are in current inventory, but we also have some that are on order. So uh, we can also locate from other dealerships too and get some vehicles in for you because these are shipped uh, overseas. So they take a little while to get them uh, built in here. So if you do want to order something, uh, it will take a little while for you to see those vehicles. So it's always a lot easier to just get something from some of the other dealerships. And with the SCs, it's so easy. There's only a couple packages that are available. So there should be plenty of vehicles out there equipped the way you want to on an SE trim. So definitely reach out to us so we can help find the perfect vehicle for you. So again, hope you enjoyed this video on the SE trim of the 2019 Ford EcoSport. 
Special offer for all of our YouTube viewers is going to be free shipping on any one of our vehicles to your door. We just ask that you finance a vehicle with us, and we're very transparent about that. The reason we ask you to do that is because it is not going to be free for us to ship, and since we do sell our, all of our vehicles at invoice minus rebate, uh, we're able, to, if you finance with us, to cover some of that cost from the lenders that give us a kickback from any of those kind of funding deals to them. So uh, that's how I'm very transparent about that. Uh, but it's not a cost that it gets incurred to you, especially if you plan on financing a vehicle anyway. Uh, go ahead and work with us. Uh, that way you can make sure you get the vehicle ordered the way you want to from a dealership that knows the product uh, and can deliver it right to your door. So you don't even have to deliver or have to make a visit to a dealership unless you want to take that test drive. So keep that in mind. We've had the reason we've offered that out there is because there's a lot of dealerships that watch these videos and very confident in some of the knowledge that we have here and make sure that they, you know, we can answer all those questions and we know what you're looking for and we can help you out the best. So that's why people have you know, reached out and wanted to work with us, uh, but because of the distance have, have gone with their own local dealership. So if you wanna work with us, Free shipping is available for you, so take us up on that offer there. Also, if you have first time watching one of our videos, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button down there. It's a great way to be subscribed to our channel and hit that notification bell and you'll also get notified the next time we have another video uploaded to our YouTube channel. If you haven't had a chance yet, go ahead and smash that like button. It lets other people know it's a great video they need to watch. Uh, helps out the channel as well as this video and I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you want to reach out to me on social media, I'm at Tim Bartz on Facebook or Twitter. So definitely uh, follow me there and that way uh, every time I have a video uploaded, I put it on our tw my Twitter account and I uh, kind of retweet uh, the, the dealership's YouTube channel. You can check it out as well, uh, but definitely reach out to me that way. You can also leave comments down below. I love getting the comments. I do read all those, respond to those, uh, and love getting that feedback. I've changed a lot of the video format we do based on some of the comments from the viewers. So definitely uh, let me know what you think on this format. If I forgot something, definitely let me know that as well. I want to make sure I highlight that because uh, the goal of this video is to really give all that information to you so that when you can make a great informed decision on your next EcoSport purchase. So uh, definitely let me know on that. So I hope you really enjoy this video. I enjoyed making it and until the next one, we'll see you later.